Okay. Yay, we're live. Right, so, gonna get some flack for this. This is how I decant the rather lovely Games Workshop paints into uh, bottles. These are just here. And I've done all the prep and I can't find the damn bottle. That's because it's here. Noob trick, you know, advice for you, make sure that you remember where you put your bloody stuff. Right, so, I got these off of um, Amazon. Um, I got about 30 for a 10 quid, which isn't so bad, and they come in three parts. You've got the little uh, doobly thing there, nipply thing, whatever you want to call it. Now, a lot of people that know far better than me will say you have to, you know, you have to thin the paints with some sort of medium, and you could put a, a ball in here to help you shake it up. <clears throat> and what I'm about to show you is probably terribly inefficient, and everyone's going to hate me, and I'll, I'll go and live in an igloo somewhere. Um, but this is how I do it. So I've made the, I've got a little um, funnel here, and it's got, I don't know if you can see that, it's got a piece of pipe running through it. Uh, it's actually a cover for a, a tip cover for brushes, and that basically means it, it, it stops you getting the whole um, weird suction thing. It allows air to escape the bottle. So I get that, and I get that, and I put them together carefully so as not to squash the bottle. Get one of these badges. A uh, channel called Luton tells you how to make these. It's really good. Um, I am obsessed with badges. That's why I say it a lot. Um, and I find also now, I find it quite handy to cut the back of the. Um, bottle off and then drop it, um, which is always good, and that just means you can get the lid out of the way. So give it a really good shake, 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 shake. My apron does not actually say danger men cocking, by the way, it's just there is a piece of paint over one of the O's. It was danger men cooking. I don't know why, I suppose it's a barbecue thing, there's gifts. Right, so now we have the paint, leave that like that. And now all I do is sort of tip it in, and that's just wing it really. Um, try and leave it on there for as long as you can. You can sometimes manage to balance them on. These paints are all different thicknesses, which is a really annoying thing about Games Workshop paints or Citadel paints. You never really quite know. So what you want to do is just leave it dripping. You can't really see very clearly, but it is sort of oozing in like that. And you can see the little hole um, that the pipe makes. So now what we do is we. The idea is you don't want to use the, you don't want to. I have got a brush that I use for this to, to get the last bits out, but you don't want to use that to the last minute because that's when you start getting inefficiencies. The moment you put a brush to it, and the moment you um, oh wow little bubble look whoa. Um, the moment you put a brush to it and you start smearing it around, you're, you're losing paint. So the idea is you. Try not to do that until the last minute, and I think I'm quite approaching that point. Tap, 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 and bung that there. And now, as you can see, the paint is going um, is going down, and you can actually tap it to help it to go down a bit quicker. Tap, 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 tap. Down the hole, please. Thank you. Right. Um, I've got a bathtub full of Space Marines in, in the next room. I might show you that later. Um, I was stripping some that I bought off eBay and uh, with Dettol, and Christ knows what they used as a, as a primer. I think they just used crude oil or something because I cannot get it off. So they've been in a bathtub full of, uh, hot, full of hot soapy water. Uh, Sam, my wife, is so understanding. So now. What I've got here is some distilled water. I keep uh, marine fish, uh, saltwater fish for anyone that sort of thinks they're marines um, with guns and stuff, they're not. Uh, and um, I've got an RO unit, reverse osmosis unit, so I get plenty of distilled water. And what you want to do now is, you, you may or may not want to do this depending on how thick the paint is. This is a little bit too thick. So I just add a couple of drops around, and then using my brush, I just start teasing it and getting it to go over the rim, like that. But I'll be a bit careful because obviously you don't want to water the paint down too much. Anyway, you get the idea. This is how it's done. 
and then when you've done that you can just then fish around and get what else you can out of the uh, you're not going to see in there it's a black hole but um, out, out of that and you just sort of go in there and you scoop it across the rim and this is where it starts getting a bit lossy um, because clearly you know if paint's sticking to something visibly you're not getting it in your lovely bottle and that is it and then really yeah I mean we use a wet palette anyway so you can work out the consistency when you put it on you lose a little bit and people will probably go oh you're losing any paint yeah well when you think you're using these parts pouring it out and dipping it and you're, you're wasting so much using these pots anyway and they're really bad parts everyone says they're really bad pots so I'm going to be a sheep and agree um, but they are genuinely really bad pots um, but yeah there's plenty of people that have probably got much more efficient high-tech ways of doing this than me but this is how I do it and I think that the, the thing here is don't don't be afraid of stuff like this just give it a go um, there's no right or wrong it's up to you what you do you paid for the paints damn it it's your paint ha right that is the end of this video I'm going to now turn the camera off. This is me turning the camera off, finger of doom. The camera's not off yet, because I'm fiddling around the back of it, trying to find the uh, off button, and I found it. Have a better one.